The breaking news update live at five. We're on your side checking with Metro Alabama Crime Stoppers to see just how many potential leads have come in. Officers, as you know, will use that information to find the shooters in that deadly five point south mass shooting case. The number of you calling in has almost doubled from this weekend. Your reporter Tristan Rupert joining us live at five outside the Birmingham Police Department. Tristan, what are the Crime Stoppers team telling you? Sarah, I'm told that program coordinators have been monitoring the tips 24 seven since the shooting occurred on Saturday, and they tell me within five minutes of you calling or sharing your tip that that information goes straight over to the Birmingham Police Department. This is by far been the largest volume of tips related to one incident that I've ever seen here at Crime Stoppers. Metro Alabama Crime Stoppers program coordinator Ken Atkinson joined the team shortly after the Camille Cupcake McKinney case. He's taken tips on hundreds of cases in the years since, but no case compares to the mass shooting in Five Point South. Atkinson says within hours of the shooting, people begin sharing what they know. The first tip we got was at 1.09 a.m. and we've received over 90 tips since that time. And as you can see, these are all tips related to the shooting that we have forwarded to the Birmingham Police Department to assist in their investigation. If you know anything at all, Crime Stoppers is urging you to call or leave a tip on the P3 tip app. Atkinson says the strong number of tips should also serve as a message to the killers. The community has decided we're not going to allow people like this responsible for this crime just to terrorize our city and they're going to step up and, and do everything they can to assist the police. Program coordinator Atkinson says no detail is too small. Anything could be the critical piece of information that police here need to really crack this case open, find justice for the four who are no longer with us and the 17 others that were injured as a result of the heinous crime that took place last Saturday. Your reporter in Birmingham, Tristan Rupert, WBRC 6 News on your side.